And now he's the man of the moment. He's the man of the moment. He doesn't really need any introduction. He's going to get one anyway. Put some your hands together, please, for your group, Josh. Um, thanks, Aston. Um, <laughs> thought it'd be hard to follow. I didn't think it'd be hard to watch. Um, so that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, who'd have thought it? I think if you'd have said to me 10 years ago, I'd be studying here today, I'd have probably said no chance. Uh, I think for those in the room that knew me growing up, probably would have said the same. But here we are. 30 years old and I've still got a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I'd just like to thank you all for being here today. Uh, myself and Carrera can't thank you all enough for the effort you've made to be here, to share this special day with us. Whether you've travelled from Dubai, Brunei, Teesside, wherever it may be, we extend our thanks to you and we hope that you enjoy today just as much as we are. As you can imagine, it wasn't easy planning a wedding from abroad over the last couple of years. We had to book the venue without seeing it. We had to have multiple calls over Zoom. And then finally, with a month to go, just before the wedding, with all the final payments to be made, um, my credit card details were stolen. Um, I didn't bother cancelling it though because the thief was taking less than Carrera was spending on the wedding. <laughs> I want to thank everyone that's contributed for today. Uh, without the contributions, we wouldn't have been able to give Carrera the wedding that she deserves and has always dreamt of. Um, me and Carrera, we've been blown away by everyone's generosity and all your gifts and cards. It really means a lot to us and hopefully it'll give us the po most perfect honeymoon. <laughs> uh, the bridesmaids, you've all been fantastic today. I want to thank you for the support you've given Carrera in helping her plan today. Uh, I also want to say thanks to Carrera's mum, Philippa, uh, first for welcoming me to the family home when I rocked up with a sports bag full of clothes about six years ago and I never left until we moved to Dubai. <laughs> I also want to thank, I also want to say how much of an amazing job you've done to raise such a wonderful and beautiful daughter. She's a credit to you and she wouldn't be the woman we all love today without you. Uh, I'd like to thank my own parents as well, Bob and Lisa. I want to thank them for everything that you've done for me growing up and the life they've given me. Uh, I spoke to my mum and dad just before the wedding and both of, them, both of them said to me, Josh, your wedding day, it'll be the best day of your life. And I thought, it must be right because my dad's done it three times and my mum twice. <laughs> Next, next. Uh, I want to thank my ushers, um, Sam and Kearney. Uh, they've got the best job in the house. They've been a part of the day without actually having any of the responsibility. All I asked of them this morning was to just stand and look pretty, and neither of them could do that. Uh, my best men, Tom and Lee, uh, because why have one person take the piss out of your company when you could have two? I want to thank you both for organising a great stag trip for myself and Coily who got married earlier in the year. I can't imagine the level of research that went into finding the dive bar, the slushy bar and the heart bar. Yeah. Uh, me, and you t me and Tom growing up we had your typical brother relationship, laughing, fighting, joking. I looked up to Tom, but then again a lot of lads looked up to Tom. <laughs> As, as Tom so self-rightly proclaimed in Vegas. <laughs> He's a great brother and we always have a great laugh together, whether that was growing up at home or in the booze or having a few pints. Unfortunately for Tom, after many years of drinking, he often gets confused and tells embarrassing stories about other people when they were in fact about him. <laughs> Me and Chappie have been best mates since day dot. We've never looked back. 
We were inseparable growing up, playing FA Cup over the field, holidays abroad, which as we got older developed a night out or heading to the boozer for a few pints. Unfortunately for Lee, after many years of drinking, he often gets confused and tells embarrassing stories about other people when they were in fact about him. <laughs> now, on to the star of the show, my beautiful wife Carrera. I'm going to enjoy this because usually when I'm with Carrera and there's a mic involved, I'm usually the one left wincing while she's up singing Britney. Now, it might come as a bit of a surprise to some of you in this room that one of us from time to time can be arrogant, stubborn, and not the most affectionate. Really? But thankfully for me, Carrera has been patient, considerate, and most importantly, willing to learn and work on this. <laughs> I'd held a bit of a candle for Carrera long before we met. I'd seen her work on Instagram, and I liked the way she operated. <laughs> I'd had many a conversation with the lads on how I wouldn't mind taking her. We had a couple of mutual friends and I'd asked one of them if they'd put a good word in for me. Unfortunately for me, I was about 18 stone at the time. And Carrera took, Carrera took, <laughs> oh yeah. Carrera took one look at a photo of me and said, nah, you're all right. Eventually, however, I did manage to lure her in. It was during a night out in Yarm. Carrera was the prettiest girl in the bar. I can still see her now, passed out on the dance floor. <laughs> anyway, we got chatting. The chatting continued the next day. Carrera wanted to see me one night and she asked if I'd take her to KFC. <laughs> it was more like love at first bite than love at first sight. As Carrera ordered a wicked zinger box meal with a cork, large fries, towered, with extra wings, popcorn chicken, beans, and a mini fillet chaser for good measure. I thought, yeah, this is the girl for me. Our second date was followed up in similar fashion with a trip to Yarm Fair, followed by a trip to TGI Fridays. Now, I know what you're all thinking. KFC, then TGIs? I must really know how to treat a girl. Now, I'd have expected with being early days, Carrera might have played it safe. She opted for the ribs, to which the waiter said, half, Carrera says, no, full. <laughs> she then stripped every single bone clean of meat. <laughs> she really was the girl for me. I think I'd have got down on one knee right there and then and used the side of onion rings. <laughs> but unfortunately, she'd had all of them as well. As you soon know, we soon after hopped on a plane to Dubai to start our life there and we never looked back. For the proposal, I'd set a romantic meal looking over the Burj Al Arab and as we walked, out, walked into the restaurant, only one table has rose petals all over it and I think, oh crap, the game's been given away, this is obvious now. Anyway, as we say the table, Carrera says, Eee, isn't it funny? Our table's the only one with rose petals on. <laughs> Now, at the time, Carrera quite fancied herself as a food blogger. <laughs> at Head Over Meals DXB. <laughs> With my quick thinking, I said, oh yeah, it must be because I've told them you're a food blogger. <laughs> I thought she'll never buy it. She looks back at me, starts nodding and says, yeah, not going to affect my review score though. <laughs> Thinking I'd overcome the final hurdle, I was soon proved wrong again. We moved outside to a private patio, rose petals, candles, view of the berge. It was perfect. I'd played a blinder. As I get down on one knee, some old fella then walks in and goes, Oh yeah, pretty nice in here, like. <laughs> His son, realising what's going on, drags him out, and I just about mumble out the words, Will you marry, marry me? To which she thankfully says yes. I knew early in the relationship that Car Carrera would be the girl I marry. With every passing day, I love her just a little bit more. She's beautiful, thoughtful, kind, and most important of all, organised. <laughs> <laughs> She's the PowerPoint to my Excel spreadsheet.
I've forgotten yeah. <laughs> Anybody who has seen the 52 page Bali PDF document will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> The same can be said for this wedding. Spreadsheets, Pinterests, PowerPoints, we had the lot. Everything you see today, Carrera has put so much hard work and effort into organising for you all. And for that I'd like to say thank you. I want to say thank you for everything you do for me and our little boy Ziggy. I can't wait, sp can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and continue to make so many more amazing memories. And for that I'd like to raise a toast to my wife Carrera. <laughs> Just one more. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, the toast, yeah, nice one. Cheers. <laughs> um, just one final bit. Unfortunately, now I've got to hand you over to Mike Bassett and his assistant Dodzy. Here we go. Best of luck.